Hi, welcome to this instructional video on using the TA Diagnostic Balancing Procedure for the TA Scope. TA Diagnostic is a fully computerised balancing procedure that is optimal in pressure drops. This video will guide you through performing TA Diagnostic on a single module. Before carrying out TA Diagnostic, the plant must be built in High Select. A link with a video on how to do this is provided in the description of this video. Now, let's get started. Navigate to the balancing menu on the TA scope. Select TA Diagnostic Method. We will now be given a guide on what the balancing method contains. As you can see, the TA diagnostic method is based on taking two measurements on each balancing valve and one measurement on the partner valve. It then calculates a solution for balancing as well as giving you a differential pressure map of the hydronic module for troubleshooting. We can see here it will also show the required equipment which is one DP sensor. Press continue. Now select the hydronic network you have previously built and uploaded from High Select. And select balance an existing module. Here we can see the module we wish to balance. Navigate to it and go to Perform Balancing and Diagnostic. Here we can see the screen that shows us which procedures we need to carry out before we start balancing. It is extremely important that all of these steps are undertaken before the TA diagnostic method is carried out. As should we make any changes to the system during carrying out the TA diagnostic process we will have to restart the process again from the very beginning. When starting the TA Diagnostic Method, you will come to the following screen showing the module you wish to balance. We can navigate over each of the valves within the module to take the required measurements we need for the TA Diagnostic. Connect your DPS Visio to the partner valve, ensuring each hose is connected to the correct test point. Navigate to the partner valve and press measure to begin the TA diagnostic measurements. We will now take a measurement of differential pressure with the valve closed. Close the partner valve. Once the valve has been closed, press continue. TA Scope will now save the measured available differential pressure into the module. Reopen the valve and press continue. Move your differential pressure sensor to the next valve in the module. Navigate to it in the handheld and press measure. Ensure you are measuring on the correct valve. We will now take two measurements, flow at the calculated presetting and available differential pressure at the valve. Once differential pressure has stabilized, press continue to save the flow measurement. Note, if the setting differs to that shown in the scope, Recheck all valve presettings as shown in the scope and start the procedure again. Shut the valve. Press continue once differential pressure has stabilized to save the measurement. Open the valve to the indicated setting. 
navigate to the next valve in the module and carry out the measurement procedure again. We can see valves we have previously measured indicated with a green tick. Complete measurements on the remaining valves in the module. Once you have carried out TA diagnostic measurements on all valves in the module, the calculate option will appear. Press calculate to view a differential pressure map of the module. Here we can see the calculated differential pressure in all areas of the module when design flow is achieved. These values can be used for diagnostics. For example, we can see here the pressure drop between circuit two and three is relatively high at 26.8 kilopascals. This could possibly indicate a blocked pipe or similar. If you are measuring on a project calculated in high select, you will be given a warning if these figures differ from design values. Press quit to view the calculated presettings for the balancing valves. Here we can see the calculated presetting in the balancing valves required to achieve an optimal balance. Take note of these figures and preset the valves accordingly. Press quit to proceed. We will now temporarily adjust the partner valve to design flow so we can measure and save the flow in each valve of the module. Navigate to the partner valve and press adjust flow. We will now be guided through temporarily adjusting the partner valve to design flow. Ensure the partner valve is set to the indicated setting shown in the TA scope. Press adjust flow to carry out the procedure. Shut the valve. Once differential pressure has stabilized, press continue. Adjust the valve to the indicated setting. If the calculation was out, Press recalculate and adjust the valve to the indicated setting. If you are happy with the measured flow, press quit. We can now verify the flow on the valves within the module. Navigate over the next valve and press verify flow. Ensure the presetting is as shown in the TA scope. If it differs, recheck all valves are set to the calculated presettings and restart the adjust flow procedure on the partner valve. When differential pressure has stabilized, press save to save the new measurement. You can now see a save icon against the valves you have verified the flow on. Verify flow on all remaining valves. All should be within plus or minus 10% of the design value. If any flows deviate from this, you should restart the TA diagnostic procedure once more. Taking care, all steps are followed correctly. You have now completed the TA diagnostic procedure for this module. Results can be uploaded to High Select to produce a commissioning report. For a complete balance, all modules and sub-modules of the plant must be balanced using the TA diagnostic procedure. 
Finally, we must optimize the pump settings. See the link on a video on how to carry out VSP optimization with the TA scope. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.